Hi, this is Chris Voss here from thechrisvossshow.com, chrisvossshow.com. Here in the blog post we want to share with you, of course, we you the latest in social media and technology. This is from JBL uh, and also uh, Harmon. You can see JBL by Harmon on the top of the box. You can go to their website at jbl.com. That's jbl.com and check this out. This is the JBL on beat venue. It's a wireless entertainment speaker. As you can see, it's very large, very huge, and it's also designed to interact with your iPod, your iPhone, and your iPad. And in fact, it has Bluetooth technology, so it will interact with just about any device that utilizes Bluetooth to broadcast. So uh, you can see here the Bluetooth logo. You can also see that it will dock your iOS devices and also simultaneously charge them. We'll show you that here in a bit. So this is another beautiful device from JBL. Uh, you can go to the website and check out their stuff. You can also see the Harman Kardon website by going to harmancardon.com. And uh, they also uh, own JBL, make products and uh, all that good stuff. So um, we'll walk you around the box here so we can go around. And uh, you can see here, uh, it's pretty much the same as we go around here and uh, all that good stuff. So this is a pretty awesome device when it comes to wireless entertainment. Um, it's got 30 watts of amplified power. It's got wireless audio streaming, Harman True Te Stream technology. It's got powerful JBL drivers, of course, in it. Uh, they're known for their sound. It's got slipstream port technology, which is pretty cool. It even has component output uh, video to your TV, auxiliary input for additional source devices, free JBL music flow app. We'll show you that in a bit. And the user-friendly EQ settings. You can also adjust the equalizers on it. It's got a dock charger for iOS devices and up to 20 kilohertz of frequency response. Let's go and open up this puppy, take a look at it, and see what we think. Pretty excited to get a hold of these JBL products. And let's see. All right, so we've got some power cabling here. Of course, uh, that's always good to have when you're doing stuff. Let's go ahead and pull open the box some more. And we've got some more power uh, source stuff. Got your Directions, those are always good to have. Now let's go ahead and pull the device out of the box here. So you can see it. I think we can set this to the side. And wow, this looks really cool. Check out this baby. All right, let's go ahead and pull this out of the bag. This is really nice. All right, wow, look at that. And uh, that's a really good looking device. Very sleek, very elegant. It's got a really beautiful thing. It reminds me kind of like a, uh, almost like a Zeppelin mothership. So we've got a rubber area here that probably when this, uh, when this comes out, let's see if I can figure out how to pop it out. Oh, cool, it just releases like that. It's got a rubber thing to protect the back of your iPad your iPhone, or at least to rest on so it doesn't make your grill look all off on the fabric. And then, of course, you've got the plug-in area here where you can plug in your uh, device to charge and all that good stuff. Across the top, let's go ahead and see if we can get that to lock in there. There we go. Across the top, what we're looking at is you. it would appear that you have a base button, a movie button, and a, I'm not sure what this is, uh, an arrow button of some type. Looks like we've got some indicator lights here for uh, probably an auxiliary plug, I would think. Uh, we've got some with a, maybe a dock uh, charge. It shows this little iPad. And we got a Bluetooth connector here. Looks like we have the power button. We have a volume up and down button. <clears throat> Around the back of this device, this is what was kind of interesting to me, was you've got your power, your auxiliary in, and you've got video out. So what you can do is transmit video to this device through your Bluetooth and you can put it out through your TV. I'm assuming, like say you're watching a YouTube video or something on your iOS device, you can take it do that. Of course, it's got the back area for the speakers. Let's take a look at the bottom for fun. It's got a rubber grommet here on the bottom that will of course protect your desktop, whatever you set it on, so it doesn't scratch. But it's a beautiful device as you can see here. And uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and set it up, play with it for a bit, test it, let you know what we think. Okay, so we've really been enjoying the experience we've had with the JBL on beat 
venue. And this thing is pretty freaking awesome. It is mind-blowingly uh, awesome when it comes to its sound. Uh, very impressed with it. Uh, it's, it, of course, logs into your, it doesn't really log in, but it basically taps into your Apple iOS uh, music that you have with uh, your Apple iTunes. It brings all of it in, shows all of it to you. You can search by songs, albums, artists, playlists, uh, genres and you can also do search you can also create your own playlists in here which is really cool you can take and actually just click on something you want put it up here and create your own playlist of music that you want to take and play now it's got like an about se section where you can do a firmware upgrade if you need to different things uh, also you of course have your controls here and this will work in landscape or portrait mode and uh, yeah, on the tray here it has not only the charger point for a tray, but it has one other tray that doesn't have a charger to it. So if you do want to set this on its side, or if you even want to set maybe your iPhone in there, you can get it in there. So uh, you can also choose between several different sound equalizer functions. You can choose between movie, rock, jazz, uh, basic, and gaming. And you can choose between them to see which one you prefer the best at what sounds good to you. So. Uh, the other thing that's really nice is it does have a bass button on the back that we talked about, we showed you earlier, and the bass button once activated gives you some pretty incredible bass. The sound on it is explosively awesome. It's just, <laughs> it blows your mind. In fact, we haven't turned all the way up because we're a little afraid of what might happen. Um, we certainly don't want to blow the speakers, but they definitely uh, rock. So you can either play it with the uh, device in. Now, what we're showing you is the JBL app, of course. It's, it comes with, uh, you, you can download to use the app with. It's the JBL, I think it's the JBL uh, Music Flow app that you can see there. So we're using that app to be able to do this and it comes you know with the device. Now what we want to do is uh, we'll give you some sound here so you can hear the sound of how it works. We're using some um, royalty free music here. This is from Kevin McLeod. Uh, you can go to this website and in comptech.com and this is of course royalty free to make YouTube happy so you can see how beautifully the sound works you control the volume from your device or on the device itself As you can hear here it's very very loud we can activate the bass and get much more bass beautiful the high end's beautiful the bass is awesome the mid levels are awesome uh, it really 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 freaking rocks uh, and we've just been super impressed with it let's go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and detach it for now and of course you can put this back in if you want and of course like I mentioned it has a separate tray where if you want to turn this aside where you don't have to plug in the charger it has that they've thought of that also which is really nice for the device so let's switch to a Bluetooth mode so you can hear how the sound is going to work through that we'll switch between some different uh, equalizer mode setting so a couple things we want to take and show you here this button that we were trying to identify earlier this is for changing the input you can change switch from your bluetooth to your dock to your uh, inline uh, audio that you have coming into the device and you've got a movie mode that really enhances the quality of the sound uh, i think we just turned it off so you can hear it without the audio enhancement of the movie and then this is with it on it gives it a much more broader beautiful sound you do feel like you're almost in a theater the bass is incredibly great um, it brings a whole lot more bass to the sound and a lot more fullness I tend to like both the movie and the bass on that's how I like to hear the features uh, let's switch through some of the other equalizations so you can hear some of the differences this is the this is the rock setting that they have. And then let's go ahead and switch to the jazz setting. And then we can switch to the basic setting. And then this is interesting, this is one even for gaming. They have a gaming uh, equalizer setting that they take and use. So this might be a great device that you could work for your Xbox or your gaming 
device or something like that to attach your PS3 as a special speaker for it. So they even got the gaming equalization there. So we really love it. I'm very impressed with it. Beautifully designed edges, look, the feel looks very rich. Um, just a beautifully designed product. And of course, it's JBL. What, 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 uh, what more would you expect? Um, so uh, anyway, be sure to check it out. Uh, we've really loved it. And uh, it's great with the pairing app that goes with it. You can use it for the iOS products, your iPhone, your iPod, your uh, iPad. And of course, it gives you the great thing where you can create your own playlists and play them and uh, and drag and drop through it, which is really nice. Be sure to check it out. Chris Voss tested, Chris Voss approved. Be sure to check back the chrisvossshow.com often. Go to jbl.com, order yourself up the JBL on beat venue and uh, tell them Chris Voss sent you. Thanks for coming by the chrisvossshow.com. Watch for more JBL Harmon Carden products here in the future. And see you later.